The next genius in artificial intelligence might actually be AI itself. We've hit a point where AI is not only getting smarter, it's also figuring out how to make itself smarter. And Demis Hassabis is the man behind this transformation. He's also the brain behind Google DeepMind. But with all this progress, there's a growing problem too. Fear, privacy, job loss, even whether this tech is safe at all. So the question is, can we trust AI if we don't even fully understand it? The fear factor. Right now, if you ask the average person how they feel about AI, you'll probably hear one word, worried. There are a few big reasons for that. First, privacy. People are nervous their personal data is being scooped up without them knowing. Then there's jobs, especially office jobs. Some experts think that AI could cause up to 20% unemployment in the near future. That's huge. And there's a general feeling that this whole thing is moving way too fast. It feels like the rules haven't caught up, big tech companies have most of the power, wealthy people get early access, and it seems like everyone's recording and tracking everything. It's overwhelming. And of course, there's the classic sci-fi fear, the whole machines take over the world thing. Sounds dramatic, but even the scientists building AI admit, sometimes they don't fully know how it works either. What's going on inside AI? So let's break it down. What's actually happening inside these AI systems? Demis Hassabis explains that big AIs called LLMs, or large language models, are basically trying to guess the next word in a sentence. You type something like, the quick brown fox, and it'll predict, jumps over the lazy dog. But here's the thing, AI isn't just copying stuff it's seen before. It's creating brand new answers that make sense, even when it hasn't seen that exact question. For example, if you ask a chatbot a question, it's not just pulling a random article and pasting it, it's generating an answer on the spot using everything it has learned. But here's where things can go wrong. If the AI doesn't know the answer, sometimes it just makes something up. That's called a hallucination when AI gives you a confident sounding answer that's completely wrong. The leap to deep think. Now comes the exciting part. DeepMind has created a new kind of AI called DeepThink, and it's truly next level. It's faster, it's smarter, it's more accurate, and it's beating records in math, coding, and other complex tasks. So what changed? Before, AI training had two main steps. Number one, pre-training, where the AI learns by going through a ton of data. Number two, fine-tuning, where the AI is adjusted using real examples and human feedback. But now there's a third step called inference time training. This means that instead of jumping straight to one answer, the AI pauses. It thinks through multiple possibilities, basically has a little argument with itself, and then picks the best one to show you. That's what DeepThink is doing. It's not rushing, it's checking, rechecking, and sometimes comparing many answers at the same time before deciding which one to give you. Demis and his team actually started this type of approach years ago with AlphaGo, the AI that beat the world's best Go player. That kind of long-term strategic thinking is now being added into general AI. So what does this all mean? Well, AI started out as a basic sentence finisher, then it became a chatbot. Now it's turning into something that can really think, something that can weigh options, reflect, and choose the best path forward. Is it perfect? Nope, it still makes things up sometimes. It still doesn't understand everything, and people still don't fully trust it yet. But guys like Demis Hassabis aren't just building the tech, they're also trying to raise it right. Because AI right now is kind of like a kid, and companies like DeepMind are the parents. And if the kid does something wrong, well, the responsibility falls on the people who built it. Now there's this idea of giving AI something called a world model. Basically, that means the AI doesn't just understand text anymore. It also understands sounds, pictures, video, any kind of input, and one day it might even respond with those too. If you're wondering why that matters, well, if AI is going to help us in real life or work in physical spaces, like helping run a robot, it needs to actually understand the world around it. Right now, it's not the robot's body that's holding things back, it's the brain. The software needs to get smarter. Once AI has that world understanding, we could see way better assistance and way smarter robots. Projects like Astra or Gemini are just the beginning. But to really work well, AI needs to build a detailed understanding of how the world works. 
just like we do. That's the big picture. Make these models smarter and more aware of the real world. But we still don't fully know how it'll all play out or how to make sure it helps society without causing the problems everyone's worried about. People think AI could eventually solve really big problems, like finding new energy sources, inventing room temperature superconductors, or even curing diseases. Some of that is still far off, but one thing that's happening now is drug discovery. A few years ago, DeepMind made AlphaFold, which can predict how proteins fold in seconds, something that used to take scientists years. Now they've launched a company called Isomorphic Labs to do the same thing for new medicines. Right now, discovering a new drug usually takes around 10 years. First, scientists need to figure out what causes a disease. Then they create a compound that might fix it. After that, it goes through up to seven years of testing in labs and on animals, and most of them fail at that stage. If a drug shows promise, it needs approval to start testing on humans. That takes even more time. And again, most drugs don't make it. About 90% fail in human trials. And if it finally works, more paperwork, more approvals, and then it can go to the public. It's a super long, expensive process. But with AI helping out, we might be able to cut that down from 10 years to just months or maybe even weeks one day. That used to sound like science fiction, but so did AlphaFold. And now it's real. So this could be real too. AI building more AI. At first, AI was just a tool to help humans work faster. Now we've clearly reached a point where AI is helping build better AI. Google DeepMind recently revealed something called AlphaEvolve. It's an AI that designs algorithms for other AIs. It's like putting AI in charge of its own evolution. So how close are we to a future where AIs are creating better versions of themselves over and over again? Well, we're not fully there yet. Humans are still involved in the loop, making sure everything stays on track, but it's definitely heading in that direction. Right now, Alpha Evolve is helping improve the AI ecosystem, things like more efficient chips or smarter supporting systems. It's not directly upgrading the brain of Gemini or other models just yet. But let's be honest, once AI starts improving its own algorithms, that feedback loop could get wild. The era of AI agents is coming. This brings us to the next big shift, AI agents. You've probably heard the term floating around. These are personal assistants. Think about being able to hand off an entire week's worth of boring admin tasks and having your AI just go out and do it. If you need a vacation plan, your AI handles the full itinerary. Want your schedule cleared, meetings booked, and emails answered? Done. So how far away are we from that reality? According to Demis Hassabis, it might only be a year or so away. The main thing holding us back is reliability. These agents still mess up sometimes, especially when they're doing tasks that take dozens of steps. Even a tiny 1% error rate can blow things up if you got 100 tasks in a row. Still, the tech is improving fast, and once it reaches that point of being fully dependable, game over. You'll have a little digital employee working for you around the clock. But what about our jobs? Of course, if an AI can plan your vacation, run your errands and answer your emails, then what's your job? That's the concern on everyone's mind. The rise of AI agents, automation, and generative tools is making people nervous. And not just about work. There are huge questions around privacy, data security, and trust, especially when companies like DeepMind are closely tied to Google, which already has a complicated track record on those issues. So how does DeepMind plan to keep public trust? Demis says it's all about showing that AI can be used for good, like curing diseases or helping with climate change. Their goal is to act responsibly with this powerful tech, keeping privacy front and center and giving users full control over what they opt into. He wants your AI assistant to feel like yours, something that works for you, not just another tech product collecting data in the background. But the question is, at what point do you think humans should stop handing over control to AI?